All right, y'all. Bank Road Town. Better up. What do we have here? Is this a cutty? Is this a cutty? Is it as clean as it looks? Is it as clean as it looks? Got a little dent right there in the fender. Ain't no thing. What are we about to do to this thing? Well, it's not what we're about to do to it. It's when I get time to do to it. You know, I take forever to do jobs because, you know, I complain all the time. <laughs> yeah, that's all I ever do, guys, is complain. You know, I had a big weight lifted off my shoulders when I got rid of that lane. That was keeping me keeping me down i kept paying all that money and all that money over and over and over paying for everything paying for all these cars to get done and nothing was getting done the best way to do it is just do it yourself keep all the dummies away from you and just work cars in and out small jobs in and out finishing up bigger jobs in and out but yes another Cuddy. Yeah. Let's see these wheel wells, y'all. Mm, pretty, pretty clean. So let's see. We're gonna put that 24 on here. It's gonna have a basic lip for right now. And you know, when I do the 24s on there, even with the rim being by 10 on the rear, I just do the quarter rail frame notch in the back. As long as you have the anti-roll. The good control arms and all that the rear end is not going to shift all over the place and the tires ain't going to rub the wheel wells so no mini tub no mini tub is needed I'm with 24s on the g body when i do it all these other places that tell you guys oh yeah you got a mini tub oh you have to oh there's no way around it oh if you want to tug oh this and that man yeah okay so yeah, she's clean though. All oh, original, original, original radio. How do you guys say it? Unmolested. Unmolested. Let's see. Let's see if we got anything. We'll grab these keys and see if we got anything going on in the trunk. Without the glare of the window, got that tilt wheel, uh -huh. got that original radio, um, not a crack in the disash, got them power windows, power seat, your regular wear and tear, you know. I see the headliner. Oh, the headliner is still all good. Uh, go back here and open this trizon. Let's see what's in it. Something got wet. The box got wet. Maybe the box was outside or something. What do we got? Double adjustable buffer. So we open the box. That's for the coil. Let's see what we went with. Huh? A224 for the front, because that's what G bodies take. Same as uh, Chevelle's. A bodies. G bodies take the same front. See, this is a V8 car. Let's see what this one is. This is a 550. This car got a 307 in it. Obviously, I got a 10 inch 250 spring to the back. Got the thrust bearing. Gotta have the thrust bearings on the front. 100% on the front. Got to. Don't be cheap. Got the cross brace. Uh, rear end brace, which now I've been using bigger ones, so I'll do that bigger. We got the more control in here. Let's see what I'll do the back. The back shot should be out. Right. That's another front. The back shot should be at right. 270. Let's see if there's a 270 in there. Uh, 207. Let's 
so probably gonna have to change the spring. This was ordered a while back. But yeah, you know, I switch it up, different weights to the car, stuff like that. Depends on what gets done to the trunk and stuff. Make sure I put them and lock them keys in there. That American flag right there is had it, y'all. Worn up. Look at that. The original cardboard pieces that go on the side. Well, that one's not there. But look at that. Original spade. Original jack. It's all in there. Uh, anyways. Close the trunk. But yeah, it's going to get some 24s. So front frame knots. Rear quarter rail knots. Um, narrow the rear end for right now. It's going to have a basic lip, but it's going to be able to go to the 7 inch lip. Uh, the wheels are not here for it right now. Gonna trim the inner plastics in the wheel well. It's going to do the notch. The front. This car's got chrome on it. I'm going to have to, no matter what, with the 24s, they end up touching the chrome, even with my custom alignments and all that, where I lean the wheel back. So I pulled the fender out a little bit, but not a lot. And then the inner stuff would get trimmed, the inner plastic piece in there would be taken off. But the chrome is going to have to be worked. So I'll take the chrome, and I'll take that piece off the car, and I'll cut it, and then I'll trim how I do the fender and I'll roll it in and then I'll move the chrome forward because the chrome will flex but I'll keep it curved so it doesn't have a an angle to it but yeah that has to be done there's no way around it unless you want the car sitting high as hell we ain't trying to sit it high as hell we want it to sit down tucked low but yeah so this is the first video of this car it just got here today so we'll see how many months this takes, y'all. We'll see how many months this takes. <laughs> you know, I am just one person. Me and my son, you know. He be taking some shit apart here and there. And bolting some shit back together. He be helping. But I'm one guy. Like I said, I'm the owner. I'm the operator. Been like that for a long time. I'm the fabricator. All the designs and stuff like that. From day in there, day one. You know. I had to tell this car, hey man, I need this shit welded, man. Come on, man, weld this shit. Here, cut this. Hey, come on, come on, come on, come on. And finally, all the years of the BS, you know, I started doing everything myself. Doing everything myself. So there's been many years now that I've done everything myself. That dude was over there getting evicted from shop after shop after shop. And I had to keep saving his ass, saving his ass. And then, boom, I'm on it. Me and my customers got jacked on all that money I dished out but yeah anyways I'm done with all that uh yeah cutlass all right y'all y'all probably seen enough I might have to pull it back in here in a minute because uh we got some heavy rain coming but yeah all right y'all make old Tim bed it up bed it up bed it up get that suspension and frame wetted up I'm out what up, what up, what up? Ain't grow Tim bedded up. Brought the 442 across the street. Had them wet it up real fast. I tried to go to the gas station one last night. And the driver's door didn't seal up too good, so I didn't want to get the inside of the man's car soaked. So, brought it across the street here. I know you guys are watching my videos. You see it in the background. They be detailing the cars over here like a motherfucker. So, brought it over here. As you can see, she cleaned. She had just that little bit of dust on it where it got underneath the plastic in the couple days that I didn't have it covered. But this baby got full turn, went to the gas station, put a full tank of fuel in it. Uh, dude said he only's going to put two 12s and an amp back there, so really ain't going to squat it much more than that. But uh, it took, what, 13 gallons of fuel and it still rides exactly the same as it did when it went to there went to the gas station but you can see she's looking good she's looking real good yeah it's got that nice little tuck on there you know i mean i don't think see why you need more tuck than that 
wheels up underneath there. <coughs> and again, no tubs. This car is not mini tubbed. I had to finesse the back part of the tub on that side and finesse the tub on that side just a little bit, but I centered the wheel up and the wheel well pretty good to where if I would have went farther more, I would have had to finesse the tub in, you know, inside there more. And if I would have went back more, which you wouldn't know because you wouldn't want, wouldn't want the wheel back that far. But as you can see, that wheel is in a nice spot. The calipers clear the frame. There's no narrow to this car. I think the lip is like a five inch lip, but this car, you could put a seven inch lip on it, just like, <coughs> excuse me, just like uh, Kevin's car, the gold cutlass I did a couple weeks ago, and the black 442. Uh, the black 442 is actually narrowed with a seven or eight inch lip on it. So this car here, all you'd have to do is narrow it and clock the end for the, the caliper to go down and a uh, seven inch lip would go right on this car and the wheel would sit in the same spot because the width of the wheel is the same width. A lot of guys don't understand that. So when you're putting 24s on G bodies, um, as long as you keep that wheel as skinny as possible in the back, you just need a quarter rail notch and a little tub work. You don't need to fully mini tub it. So these places that are telling you, oh, we got a mini tub, oh, we got to do this, oh, we got to do that. I don't do all that. Meaning I can do all that, but there's just no point in it. Perfect tuck right there. Anti-roll, ties the back of the car together side to side. And that allows the ass in to go straight up, straight down. Doesn't lean, so the tire don't get up in there and rub the outer tub. But yeah, this is a, like I said, it's got a small black Chevy in it. I noticed before the door is a little off, so I think the door needs to be realigned. But I see stuff like that where anybody else don't see anything like that. Trim the fenders that little bitch with little bit, which you can see. You know, it doesn't look all gaudy like it's hacked off, you know, too much too much forward. This tire is a fatter tire. Like I said, that's all I was saying on the rims. When you look at that tire, same tire as the back. Front rim's a little skinnier, so it's squared up. Then if you look at the back, you can see that the tire is in a little more because the rim is fatter. So, you know, it stretches it. So the front of this car, if you, if you wanted to do this style like this, you'd go with a... 255 25 24 which is a way smaller tire and it would keep you from having to cut the fender as much and it would clear more and you could ride a little bit lower on the front still would need a sport steering stuff like that this one i ended up putting three shims two fat shims and a thin shim on the upper part of the back control arm to uh degree it back so was it being degreed back so with the green the spindle back like this moves the wheel back and then when it turns it gives it a sport steering so it tucks and misses the cuts that's why you'll see my cars don't have big nasty cuts like other people's cars does not touch nowhere near back there at all it's a beautiful car loved working on it dude was supposed to pick it up today after six but just hit me up and said he can't get it until friday at about 10 in the morning and I normally don't get to the shop till about 12, 2 o'clock, so. Anyways, but there it is, 442 G-Body. All hooked up. Coilovers, front and back. QA1 control arms, front. Trick chassis rear, double adjustable control arms. Trick chassis rear anti-roll bar. And it's all set up. Custom. It's all custom. I'm not a parts changer, and if I do change something it, as, a, as a parts changer, I do it custom. <laughs> All right, y'all. Bangor Tim, bat it up. There it is. She done. She about to go bye-bye. Appreciate y'all. I'm out. What up? What up? What up? Bangor Tim, bat it up. Got the 86 outside. Just took it for a spin around the parking lot. Make sure the back tires ain't rubbing anywhere. Plenty of clearance, plenty of clearance. Got that fabbed up rear end up underneath there. This car is set for a seven inch lip. And what I was saying is, right now there's wheel spacers on the back, inch and a half of wheel spacing. This wheel comes out to about a five inch lip. So once the wheel is changed to the smaller back barrel, the bigger front barrel, this and that, then we'll be able to take off the wheel spacing because I have the three inch studs, half inch by 20, uh, 
strange. That's what those are. The, the cheapest for the, the best price, best bang for your buck on those, which are still good. So, as you can see, she's got that little bit of tuck. She does have some sounds in it. The tire's fitted up in there. The back chrome is trimmed a little bit. Other people be blocking out uh, license plates and stuff like that. I'm be blocking that shit out. But anyways, as you can see, the car is dirty, very dirty. So the car will be going to get all cleaned up. And then he's got other things he's gonna do to it. We got full turn in the front. I got that badass frame notch on it. Probably can't hear me over the wagon. Being fired up behind the fence. That's the wagon that's gonna be uh so it's one of the wood grain wagons, 90 uh, Chevy Caprice. But anyways, so we got this tuck on here. Got all full suspension, wheel wood brakes, back brakes. We gotta take it up and down the street a little bit, get those broke in. Viking coilovers, front and back. Tubular, front control arms, QA1. Moog, inner and outer tie rods. I mean, you guys, if you guys have been paying attention to the videos of this car, I put a lot of time into this car to make this car nice. Really nice. I mean, that's the type of work I do anyway. Uh, so. Tried to go through, double check everything, make sure everything's tight, nothing's loose. Jam the control arms, double check those. This car, I only went with the 225 rear spring. What you see, the spring separation is really nice. Like I was saying, the brakes starting to eat off the powder coat. So we'll take it up and down the block. Do that. Show you guys this underneath. I spent a lot of time on this rear end. Boom. Brand new bolt covers in the cover with lock washers, all that. Boom. Coil overs, bracing to the rear end. Boom. I was trying to get this video. I had to bleed the brakes and stuff like that today. Oh, blocking the camera. Wanted to get this video before it got dark. I'd be forgetting about that time change. So. This will be the video of the 86 Cutlass. Once again, no mini tub. The back of the car can go down another inch, inch and a half easy, but we don't need to tuck it that hard. But there it is, y'all. 1986 Cutlass, 24s, Armani Forged. The back wheel is 24 by 10 which makes it 11 overall so if you guys want to avoid tubbing like this keep the rim as skinny as you can in the bag so 24 by 9 will make it 24 by 10 overall or will make it 10 overall which is going to clear better than this i did trim the outer lip in the back but there it is y'all make real 10 bed it up another one done all right, y'all. Appreciate y'all. Thanks, y'all. And I'm out.